Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by, this is KCR Mark. So in today's Gran Turismo 7 tuning video, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I've got two separate tunes for you, I've got a 600pp tune and a 700pp tune for the same car. The car in question is a mighty Porsche 911 Turbo, this is a 930 model from 1981. In the course of this video, we're going to be doing a 600pp tune for the Tokyo Expressway, also going to be doing a 700pp build for the Le Mans World Touring Car 700. So I'll be running through these tunes separately, but for both builds you're going to be using the engine swap from the Porsche 911 Group 3 car. Absolutely fantastic engine swap for this car. So we'll get straight into this and we'll get on to the 600pp tune first. So as well as the engine swap, we're going to be using the wide body modification on both of these tunes. I personally think it looks absolutely brilliant on this car. Wheel wise, whichever uh, style you choose, make sure they're wide width and wide offset. Heading on to the custom parts, we want Type B front bumper, we want Type B side skirts, we want Type A rear diffuser and we want Type B rear wing. Also for this setup we're going to be using a Type C roll cage which slightly adjusts the PP as well. So heading on to the tuning shop you want stage 1 weight reduction, you want sports hard tyres, stage 2 weight reduction, power restrictor, fully customised computer, fully customised LSD, stage 3 weight reduction, increased body rigidity, I almost said that right. Racing silencer, uh, racing pads and discs, fully customised suspension, brake balance controller, racing clutch and flywheel, fully customised transmission, and that's your lot. I know it's quite a lot to buy, but trust me, it's really worth it for this car. Most of those parts will transfer over to the 700pp tune as well. So I won't talk you through every stage of the tune itself, I'll uh, just enlarge your screen so you can do your screen grabs on there or whatever you need to do to copy the uh, the figures over. Uh, just, to, just to know, I've put quite a bit of ballast in this car right at the front as well, just to try and even up that weight distribution a bit because the, the Porsches obviously being rear-engined can be quite a bit tail happy. But uh, I think uh, I've set a nice balance with this car, it's, uh, it's really nice to drive. So with the car built we can head to track itself and we want to go to World Circuits, Asia, Japan and you want the Tokyo World Touring Car 600. Now with this car being a Group 3 engine it is obviously incredibly good on fuel economy so no need whatsoever to save fuel, you can stay on fuel map 1, rev the car out all race and you won't need to pit at all. In terms of driving the car itself, it has a tendency of a bit of lift off oversteer and it can get a bit uh, oversteery on power. That's just the nature of the car with rear wheel drive and rear engine, but uh, it is really nicely controllable as well. You can really step that back out once you get used to the car and uh, it's really good fun to drive. That wide, uh, wide body kit really helps with the uh, stability of the car as well. Also, it's got really, really good brakes as well for a standard road car. Um, like I say, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a pretty easy race in this car. The, the fuel economy, the fact that you don't have to pit, it just makes a huge advantage. You can, uh, you can afford to let the leaders get quite a big lead on the first couple of laps while you take it easy. And uh, as soon as the uh, track starts drying out, you'll, uh, you'll be flying in this car. Not the uh, fastest down the straights, it does about 190, but it's, it's more about the, the handling through that middle section where it makes all its ground up. So with your clean race bonus, you'll be bagging yourself 825,000 credits for this race win. And with that done, we can head on to the 700pp tune. So for the purposes of this video, I'm going to be treating this as a separate tune. But obviously, if you've done the previous 600pp build, you won't need to buy as many parts for this car. So we're going to be using, once again, the engine swap and the wide body conversion. We're going to use whatever wheel you choose, but you want the wide offset and the wide wheels. So in terms of custom parts, slightly different from the previous build, we're going to be using Type A bumper this time. We're going to be using Type B side skirts. We're going to be using a standard rear diffuser and we're going to be using a Type B rear wing. Uh, once again, we're going to be using Type uh, C roll cage, which slightly adjusts the PP. So heading on to the tuning shop and we're going to be using Stage 1 weight reduction, 
stage 2 weight reduction power restrictor you want ballast uh, fully customized computer this time we're going to be using high rpm turbo fully customized lsd type 3 weight reduction and increased body rigidity still didn't say right that time either uh, racing exhaust <laughs> full custom brakes uh, full customized suspension brake balance controller racing clutch and flywheel fully customized transmission uh, racing medium tires and you want racing intermediates tires as well So onto the tune itself and we're going to be using the same suspension and diff setups as the previous tune these work just as well with the racing medium tires again i won't talk you through every number i'll just enlarge your screen so you can do your screen grabs obviously we've got a lot more power this time with the high rpm turbo uh, going up to 550 brake horsepower Again, we're going to be using quite a lot of ballast at the front of the car just to get that weight distribution nice. It's, it's a very light car already, so uh, adding that ballast doesn't seem to uh, be that detrimental to the tune. So with the car all built, we can head to the race itself. We want World Circuit, Europe, France, and you want La Salle for the uh, Le Mans World Touring Car 700 race. So as with the previous tune, the beauty of this engine swap with the uh, Group 3 Porsche 911 engine is its fuel economy is absolutely fantastic on fuel it did the uh, previous race to Tokyo Expressway with no pit stop it did 12 laps easily and uh, round them on it's just as good as well um, you don't need to fuel save in any way shape or form you can leave it on fuel map one rev the car out and it'll do four laps no problem which uh, from experience round them on is plenty because it usually rains on lap uh, three anyway so you need to come into the pits obviously it depends what weather pattern you get but um yeah on these uh, racing medium tires this car just feels absolutely brilliant it's uh it's a really nice handling car anyway but with the uh, racing tires it just seems to have uh, um unlimited grip around this track really it's uh, it can be a little bit uh oversteery on the power so just be a little bit cautious there you may want to um uh change up early i was changing up into third out of some of the corners and second quite early just to stop that wheel spin but uh it's a completely controllable car really nice fun to drive and uh it really suits uh, this circuit it's very good around the uh the fast corners it seems to have lots of uh, lots of downforce and that uh wide body just gives it loads and loads of grip so in summary a great car to drive on both tunes um the engine swap really suits the uh suits the car it gives it really nice balance it's really drivable and obviously it's absolutely incredible on fuel economy as well which helps with uh, both of these money money grind races so really versatile car it works really well with both these tunes on the uh, the sports tires and the racing tires and uh, fully tuned up this will do 788 brake horsepower so i haven't actually tried it personally but i i think you'd be able to uh, do the sardinia world touring car 800 race with this car as well and there's not many cars that you can do all three money grinds with uh, if you do give that a try let me know i'd be interested to see how you get on with that so with the win round them on you'll bag yourself another 825,000 credits so that's 1.65 million in less than an hour with one uh, incredible car so i hope you enjoyed that thanks for stopping by let me know how you get on with the uh, the tune in the comments and uh, like i say let me know if you do try the 800 pp race with this tune as well i'd uh, be interested to see how that gets on so uh, thanks for stopping by once again i'll uh, see you again soon cheers bye